Welcome back to Testosterone Crusader. Today we're diving into a topic that's crucial for all you fitness enthusiasts out there, protein and muscle building. But we're going to keep it simple and straightforward. Before we jump in, if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you won't miss out on any of our future fitness tips. Let's get started. All right, let's talk about why protein is so important when it comes to building muscle. Think of protein as the building blocks for your muscles. When you work out, you're breaking down muscle tissue, and protein helps repair and rebuild that tissue, making your muscles stronger and bigger. But the big question is, how much protein do you actually need? There are different opinions out there, but we're going to keep it simple and go with a guideline that many experts agree on. One gram of protein per pound of body weight. So what does one gram per pound of body weight really mean? Well, let's break it down. If you weigh 150 pounds, you'd aim for around 150 grams of protein per day. If you're 200 pounds, then around 200 grams and so on. It's a simple and easy to remember rule that can help you reach your muscle building goals. Now, you might be wondering, why is this amount ideal? The answer lies in the fact that our bodies use protein for many things, not just building muscle. It's involved in repairing tissues, making enzymes and hormones, and supporting our immune system. By getting enough protein, we ensure that our body has what it needs to function properly, especially when we're putting in the work at the gym. Getting the right amount of protein is essential, but where do you get it from? There are plenty of protein-rich foods to choose from. We've got meat like chicken, turkey, beef, and fish. If you're plant-based, there's tofu, beans, lentils, and even quinoa. Don't forget about eggs and dairy if they're part of your diet. Now, you don't have to eat all your protein in one sitting. You can spread it out throughout the day. Maybe some chicken for lunch, a handful of nuts for a snack, and a piece of fish for dinner. Mixing it up can make it more enjoyable and help you hit your protein goals. It's important to note that everyone is different, and our protein needs can vary. Factors like age, activity level, and overall health can play a role. If you're not sure about how much protein is right for you, it's always a good idea to consult with a healthcare professional or a registered dietitian who can provide personalized advice. Meeting your protein goals can be easier than you think. Here are a few tips to help you out. Include protein in every meal. Try to include a good source of protein in every meal and snack. Protein shakes and bars. If you're having trouble getting enough protein from food alone, consider adding protein shakes or bars to your routine. Plan your meals. Planning your meals in advance can make it easier to ensure you're getting enough protein throughout the day. Read labels. When you're shopping, Take a look at food labels to see how much protein is in the products you're buying. Now let's talk about protein shakes. While they can be a convenient way to supplement your protein intake, it's important to emphasize that they aren't always necessary. Many people can meet their protein needs through whole foods alone. Whole food sources like meats, fish, eggs, dairy, and plant-based options provide not only protein, but also essential vitamins, minerals, and other nutrients that contribute to overall health. So, before reaching for that protein shaker, consider evaluating your diet and incorporating a variety of protein-rich foods. Whole foods offer a range of benefits beyond just protein content. They provide fiber, which supports digestion, and a mix of micronutrients that contribute to a balanced diet. Plus, whole foods offer a satisfying and enjoyable eating experience that supplements may not replicate. That being said, there are situations where protein supplements can be useful if you're struggling to meet your protein goals through food alone, or if you're in a rush and need a quick and portable option, a protein shake can be a convenient solution. However, they should complement, not replace whole food sources. If you're eating well, you shouldn't really even need protein shakes. Ultimately, the key is to listen to your body. If you find that you're consistently hitting your protein goals with whole foods and feel energized and healthy, you might not need protein shakes. On the other hand, if you have specific dietary restrictions, struggle with appetite, or have increased protein needs due to intense training, they might be a helpful addition. If you found this information valuable, give the video a thumbs up. And if you have any questions or want to share your thoughts, drop a comment below. And as always, don't forget to subscribe for more fitness insights. Thanks for watching.